Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general collective reading, so please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. Let's see what's going on here. Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Somebody's fixing to get paid for some kind of betrayal here. Because the Queen of Swords ain't having it. It's like, it's, I, I feel like, you know, it's like, pay me what you owe me. Or get gone. Because this betrayal came at a price. Somebody got paid to come at a Queen of Swords, which is, Queen of Swords is facts. The cold hard truth. She's very honest and sensible and if you don't give her what she wants you know you just hang in the back with the rest of them because you know and i feel like this is like a pay me what you owe me type energy you owe me money pay me i don't want to hear it otherwise you know you can just go hang in the back with the rest of them you betrayed me you owe me money pay me or walk away you know uh, this is something to do with a, a relationship king of cups 2-2 two, two. somebody playing around trying, trying to get something they wanted and they use somebody for money King of Wands in the most recent past. Two of Cups and the Three of Swords. Yep. Somebody got their heart broke. For Yeah, could be family members. But I'm I'm feeling like it's a specific relationship. Maybe you just maybe you just walked away because this person betrayed you betrayed you in a in a big way. Virgo energy in the immediate future. Two of Swords and Justice. So there's a Ten of Swords again. But what I'm seeing here is somebody's somebody's getting their justice because of uh, they went within to seek their answers. And uh, this person is really, really confused about how you were able to pull through something. After everything they did, Five of Pentacles, factors affecting the situation. This person, you know what they did. I mean, as for, this is the High Priestess and the Judgment. You know what they did because they thought they were being slick. And Judgment is here for them. You, you did the right thing by probably walking away from this person because they, they, they cost you money. They cost you. They, they made you feel left out in the cold. They did it on purpose. Nine of, nine of wands in uh, the outside influence. So this is, they, they duped an, an, an empress. Uh, that wasn't smart. That was not smart. Whoever you are that did this, that cost an empress money, that cost an empress time, energy, and put her in the nine of wands, put her through a lot. Five of cups. Now she probably don't want you. And you're confused about why she don't want you? Huh? Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. There's a good reason why she don't want you. Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups. I don't see what you, you got to be confused about. You screwed up here. 
I feel like this person walked away from another relationship. And now they're bringing in some kind of offer. Nine of Pentacles to the lovers is the hopes and fears. They're hoping that you will accept them despite there being three people involved. Now, you might have another person on, you know, standby if you're single and a choice between two. But it does include some kind of a, a, a contract or a marriage. Gemini energy. Gemini and Virgo so far on the board. So, yeah. Somebody's fixing to get hurt because you got options. You got options out there, and I don't think that you're going to accept this person's offer. You're going to take a risk and, and, and go somewhere else and let this, let this be over once and for all. Ten swords to the back, five of pentacles, three of swords, yeah. I don't think there's going to be a way to come back from this, whoever this person is. Aries energy. Let's get some more information. What is this six of pentacles and this queen of swords about? Yeah, you, you let go of whatever this was. You were like, yeah, you can keep your underhanded, undermining, secretive, uh, jack off. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you let go. You let you letting go of what this person owes you because you don't you just don't want to bother with it anymore. You don't want to fight with it anymore because this Virgo, whoever this person is, they're keeping secrets. And you don't, it's, it's like you, you don't even want to know anymore. You're done. They walked away from another relationship to come and make you an offer. Pisces and Virgo energy. Blocked. Blocked from your wheel of fortune. The cold hard facts. With the king of swords. Whoever... You might, like I said, if you're involved with another person, this other person is also making an offer. And they're not going to walk away from the truth. You may not be walking away from the truth. You could be the queen, the king of swords, male or female. You just, I, I feel like whoever this extra person is, they might even be some kind of lawyer or judge or something like that deciding that, you know, whatever this person was arguing with you over is yours and you're going to receive it. Yeah, Ten of Wands. The fight. So whoever this person is trying to fight with you, they're, they're going to lose. They're going to lose. What is this King of Wands about? King of Wands. Yeah, so there's the King of Wands and the King of Swords. The truth is coming out about whoever this person is who tried to stop you from having a brand new beginning, possibly at work. I do feel like there was some kind of betrayal here. Underhanded energy that was like stalking and and slandering you behind scenes and causing you to have a loss here. Wow. Okay, so immediate future, King of Cups. Manipulation. Virgo Gemini. Five of Swords, Ten of Wands. Ten of Swords, no 
no new beginning here. I feel like you're going to drop whatever this is. You're just going to walk away. You're not going to even deal with it because you see the, the manipulation behind it. Judgment. Yep. The truth and nothing but the truth. This betrayal is over and it's being blocked. I mean, it's seriously being blocked. Because you're protected. Possibly by the, the King of Swords. That could be a friend. It could be somebody you know. Somebody has let go of some kind of toxicity here. The devil in reverse. It's it's some kind of addiction or, or a toxic way. And they, they're trying to find their angelic balance. Which is the temperance card. So that's, a, that's like an angel up against the devil here. An angel up against the devil. Choose. Somebody's about to get ghosted. Because they, 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 the treachery here, I mean, of trying to fight for something that was a total manipulation. It's yeah, the outside influence. I got Pisces and Libra here uh, as, the, as the outside influence. Justice. For somebody being stuck from something in the past. Taurus energy. Hierophant. Again. Somebody, somebody got stuck with, with getting hurt here. Because... I feel like this is some kind of legal situation that's going to come out. And this King of Cups, whoever they are, is going to be stuck fighting for something. And left with the check. I mean, seriously. Like, they're going to get left with the check because they, they're fighting for something that isn't just. It isn't, it isn't right. So yeah, there's there's no new beginning for this person, whoever they are. They're gonna send you a message. This is their hope. There's the message, Eight of Wands. About the Five of Pentacles in reverse, because they owe you money. An opportunity they took away from you. Due to possibly a marriage. Oh, oh. Somebody might have faked some documents here. Made it look like they were marrying you. Perhaps they have information or like say, you know, they might have your birth certificate or, you know, some kind of old identification or something like that. And they use that to sign some kind of document here with your name on it. And they kept you from getting some kind of money, some kind of an inheritance. Ooh, they caught. wasn't worried about it. What wasn't even wasn't even stressing about it. I don't think you were either. I don't think you even knew about it. Somebody got caught. Yeah, a gold digger, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Very very risky. High Priest is upright, so you might already know about this. Pisces energy. Got Pisces, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Sagittarius, Capricorn. What else we got on there? That's it. Wow, Virgo. Oh, yeah. So all these people could have been involved in this. May even have taken a house from you. They didn't want to give it up. The truth is about to come out. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse is about to get the judgment. Ten of Swords. Whatever they did to you is about to happen to them. The truth is about to come out. Sagittarius energy. 
Four of Wands to the Three of Cups. Like I said, this person could have used your name and forged your signature on documents. Maybe married somebody and pretended they were you. Oh, that's weird. I don't know what that's all about. Y'all y'all have to tell me in the comments. But that's that's messed up. What is this page of pentacles with this knight of swords in reverse about? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's going to jail for this. Five of swords, devil in reverse, and the eight of swords. Somebody's going to jail for this. Somebody's about to get told on by a king of by a king of swords. Somebody's about to tell. And this king of cups or whoever this person is in the immediate future, they about to get in a lot of trouble. Eight of wands. I don't know what they did here, but it was it was a fortune. It was it was somebody else's fortune. Like they, like I said, they, they might have married somebody and pretended they were you so they could get access to some kind of inheritance or some kind of destiny, fortune, whatever. That's a doppelganger energy. That's, that's somebody pretending to be you out of an obsession to try to get something that belongs to you. Yeah, they're going to definitely reap what they sow here. Because you're coming out on top, you know. You didn't. You didn't even act. You didn't. You may have not even known this, because it was done behind the moon. Yeah. Three of Swords. Can't say it's not gonna hurt. A Nine of Pentacles. That had to wait for their money. That had to wait for their life to get better. Before they could fight this. Whatever it is. I don't know what that means. But if somebody steals your identity. And marries somebody. And that pretends to be you. That is definitely a punishable offense. It's a federal crime I think. And it carries a lot of weight. Yeah. So this person may offer you some small token. To try to get you to not prosecute here. Ten of Wands. You may not have any choice, but I mean I mean I'm saying if this is legal a legal situation this person is 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 gonna end up paying for it. And it's definitely gonna be over for them. Five of cups page of cups in reverse Knight of Pentacles. They've been stopped from whatever they were trying to do. This is the outside influence. Because their wish was to see you stuck. They may have even tried to do some kind of death magic here with that uh, ma magician in reverse. So they, so they could take your blessings. So they could take this fortune from you. They may have either made it look like you weren't here anymore and made themselves an executor of a st an estate or something like that. Or they may have pretended somebody else was you and signed your name to it. Sagittarius again, Nine of Pentacles. And the whole time you're single and you're not even involved in this. But you're about to find out about it. Nine of Wands. They were hoping that you didn't find out about it. Ten of Cups. They were really hoping that you weren't going to find out about this. Risky business by the devil in reverse. Somebody who was obsessed with your growth. But whatever this is that that is is hidden is about to come out. Leo and Virgo energy again. And you're going to have your options in love and in life because somebody is going to jail. I mean, I can't see this any other way. Somebody, somebody's going down for this. 
Perhaps they thought that you owed them something. Because, I don't know. Maybe maybe they felt betrayed by you in some way or another. And all you did was walk away. Eight of Cups. There's a Four of Wands here. The World card and the Nine of Swords. So this person is going to lose their house. Maybe even to you. And they are stressing really, really hard. Because the World card's here. And some kind of cycle is about to be closed on this Four of Wands. I feel like it's your house. Not their house. And, and, and there's some forged documents here. Yeah, judgment on judgment. Wow. And the three of pentacles in reverse. Whoever this person is that they involve themselves with. The option that they chose option that they chose king of pentacles or king of cups whoever this person chose over you they got money for it they might have even gotten a home they're about to lose it these three people who are involved in this are about to lose everything Everything that they tried to take from you. Because the truth is about to come out. This King of Swords sees everything. It's Archangel Michael energy. And justice is about to be served. Because justice and judgment are upright. Yeah, this is a rags to riches story. This is somebody who put you in poverty. And a ruling is about to happen. Main female... Poverty, great fortune, community, and a message. So it's all coming into fruition now. Whoever did this, you're about to get the judgment in your favor. Adjudication. Whatever they did here to take from you, to stop your growth, to... They really, they really did a number on you, viewer. They, they're going to jail. I mean, they, there's even, even if you don't prosecute, whoever they're, wherever they are, the state will probably prosecute because justice and judgment there twice. Oh yeah. Like I said, they could have stole a whole damn house from you. Girl with a snake, karmic relationship. Meeting the one. You may even meet, you know, the person that you're supposed to be with in this in this whole situation. Yeah, there's the ascension. So sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent working on it. Empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed, used, enable and boundaries. Not showing true feelings, hide, persona, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslight. Like I said, somebody is pretending to be you here. And you're about to find out who that person is because you chose to make healthy choices and mirror back to the universe what you wanted to see. Which, not the betrayal, of course, but you wanted to see the truth. And now you will be transcending obstacles and advancing and this person is going to be very unsure of their future they're trying to come at you and tell you the truth before you get this information I feel like you're gonna get the information about the same time this person tries to come tell the truth and yeah like I said you might not be able to help them at all because even if you don't press charges Possibly the state will. Impossible things. Working through disbelief. Imaginative leaps and a fresh perspective. Who in the world are you? Getting to know the real you. Transcending obstacles and, and, and um, 
finding the lesson wake up it's your moment it's your moment there ain't nothing anybody can do about this they they really really try to put you out to break your heart put you out and take what was yours even if they had to pretend they were you what kind of people are these Chaos is growth and change is eminent. Mr. Know-it-all. Control. Dominate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you not being able to do that now. Materialism, illusions over reality, and stressing overload and drama. Entity attachment. Can't think for themselves. They followed a trend. Community, group, and gang stalking. You got healthy energetic boundaries because you can't block true ingenuity or real creation. And this is what they were trying to block and stop a creator, an empress, perhaps by stealing her work or his work. And all of that's about to come out in the wash and in court. Somebody's in trouble. Big trouble. They're going to have to pay you. They're going to have to give you back. Yeah, I feel like that's what that's what this is. It's like, somebody, give me what you owe me. And be on with your bad self. You face your own consequences. I can't save you. Stop caring about what they think. This is your life to love and live. And you're too amazing to follow everyone else. Forge your own path. And I feel like that's what you've done. Say goodbye to your past and leave the baggage behind for good. I feel like after this happens, you're going to be able to do it without a problem. You're going to be able to take off with, with what what is right, what is just, and what is, what is due to you after this judgment and this justice. Justice, yes. Spit it out. Um, so, I do see a win here it may take a little bit of time because there's people here that are trying to stop it you got clairvoyance you can see this for what it is and you're you're ficking to get some powerful personal growth so let's see what this says Nautilus Princess, 144. Nice number. All right. So this card says... Wait a minute, where is it? Next page. This card says... A message of powerful personal growth. It says, A big-eyed, beautiful mermaid, surrounded by her floating, rich red hair, holds tight to a nautilus shell. She is underwater, emotional princess, and she is growing in ways she never thought she could. Because soon she is but to be the queen, and she must make decisions. She feels uncertain about how she will perform when she is elevated and unsure of whether she can wield her power. She is very thoughtful as she contemplates the future, but all around, all around her is, are the symbols of her future success. I know I am strong, I, but most people think of me as gentle, kind, and good. Now that I am, the, I am to be the ruler, what if they see me as power hungry, dominating, greeting or con greedy or controlling? Whatever thoughts of those around me, there will be change as I change. I will continue to hold fast to my Nautilus as it reminds me to grow in ways that are in tune with my purpose, my integrity, and what I feel is right. I vow to be steadfast and true despite the challenges that are heading my way. I vow not to misuse my power. 
but use it I will. And as a result, I like, li use it as a result, I, like you, will grow in ways that are in tune with my true self and my true purpose. You may be very gentle, appeasing, and timid soul who is facing a challenge. You are being asked by the universe to step up into a more senior and conspicuous role. And you are concerned about whether you can be powerful and still be a good person. The pearls here signify that you must act from a pure place and from a natural place and treat, it, treat this quest as a sacred task. The Nautilus says you will grow in ways that are perfect and perfectly proportioned, just as the Nautilus is. And this is a natural result for you. Expect to grow more and more over time. This is a time of spiritual and emotional transformation, which could come to you via a friend who is older or more experienced. She will share her skills and some of her secrets with you. You could be about to experience a deeper friendship. Meet a teacher who really opens your mind to a new realm of discovery or find a trainer who can teach you in such a way that your potential blooms strong and fast. This is a long one. You may be about to get an after school job that pays good money and you'll be asked to step up and deal with new abundance in healthy ways. There will be responsibility and rapid growth. Dignity, truth, and wisdom are, are your best guides. It is now time to take, your, take yourself and your potential seriously. Like I said, this is going to be, this is like a rags riches story because somebody took your opportunity here and, and cut you out of it. But now they're about to have to pay up and you're going to get what's owed to you here because there's no other way. There's no other way. You're ascending. You, you've accepted the challenge here to grow from a pauper to a queen. And if you want to know if you're going to handle the power without becoming... Uh, like that this this card is telling you that you won't because you've already learned the lessons needed to be a powerful leader with a good heart all right well those are your messages please remember press the like button subscribe and share and i'll see you next time